Anna Bernardina Karlsdotter was born on November 13, 1868 in Kinnevedum, Skaraborg's Lan, Sweden. She was born to Karl Eriksson and Maria Greta Andersdotter. Anna was one of seven children. She was preceded by three older brothers and one elder sister. Hedda Sophia was the first child in 1858, Karl Ludwig, born in 1860, Hugh Gilbert, born in 1862, Eric Gustav. Two of her siblings died young, Hugo Gilbert and Eric both lost their lives in 1869. That year, a new sister was born, Eva Charlotta. The last child, also a sister, followed in 1873, Christina Elizabeth. On June 5, 1898 she got married to Wilhelm Johansson Skoog who was from Forsham, Skaraborg's Lan, Sweden, the son of a crofter. The next year, 1899 Anna would give birth to a son, named Johann Erik, but for some reason he died that same year. The next year, 1900, Anna and her husband migrated from Gothenburg to the United States of America. The pair arrived in Hull, England on the 4th of May, 1900 after boarding a ship in Copenhagen. They then left Liverpool on the steamer Altonia and arrived in Boston, Massachusetts around May the 15th. They would eventually settle in Iron Mountain, Michigan, according to the 1910 consensus, where her husband would take work in the mining business. He would eventually become an engineer. Anna meanwhile gave birth to another child on July 3, 1900. He was named Carl Torsten. Anna was blessed with another child in 1902, named Mabel. Her next son, Harold, followed in 1906. On April 14, 1910, Anna had conceived her last child, another daughter. She was named Margit Elizabeth. Sometime between 1910 and 1911, her eldest boy, Carl, suffered a tragic incident at a railroad. The result was that he had to have his left leg amputated, as well as a compromised right leg, missing toes, and it meant he had to walk on crutches all the time. The family decided to move back to Sweden in 1911. But they would stay only a few months and regretted their decision. Meanwhile, two relatives of either Wilhelm or Anna, Illy Pettersson and Jenny Lovisa Henriksen, had become curious about this intriguing country on the other side of the Atlantic, America. Wilhelm talked them into coming along. On April 5, 1912, the Skoog family with the two other ladies traveled from Gothenburg on the Wilson Line steamer Calypso. They made it to Hull in England on the 7th of April. Anna, her family and relatives took voyage on the Titanic on April 10th in Southampton. Anna Skoog was 43 years old at the time. The family traveled in third class. Her youngest child, Margit actually celebrated her birthday on the fateful day that Titanic met her cruel destiny. She had become two years old now. Late at the night, the grandest ship in the world hit an iceberg, which caused small gashes in her hull. The ship was sinking as a result. On April 15, just after midnight, the captain and his staff realized the ship was in danger and prepared the evacuation. It's unknown what happened to the Skook family after the collision. Their fate seemed to have been sealed the moment they boarded the ship. Somehow they must not have been able to reach a lifeboat in time. They all perished in the disaster when Titanic submerged beneath the sea at 2.20 am Anna's body was lost to the sea along with the others. A charity fund paid out 875 Swedish kroner, 48 pounds, paid to Anna's father, which was of course a big mistake, as he had already died on the 21st of January, 1893. The consulate in London luckily still agreed with the fund and the compensation could be given to her four siblings instead. If you would like to hear more biographies like this, please give a thumbs and subscribe to my channel. Thank you again for listening.